Hello everybody and welcome to It's been a little while since I made a video. That's because I've been really really busy. We're Okay, my job is a very strange one. Uh, I pretty much do what I'm told when I'm told to do it, and recently I've been told that I am now in charge of making sure our projects get done, and we've got a list of them. A very long list. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, it's just time-consuming. A bit. Uh, recently I'm taking over the entire security system for an office building. Little intimidating, but, uh, you know, I, I can do it. Should be fairly easy. Uh, but, uh, I'm making this video, to be perfectly honest, to test my new upload speed. I just got an email from Verizon, uh, not five minutes ago, hmm, my watch isn't on, uh, telling me that I got a free upgrade to my internet connection. My, my upload speeds are now the same as my download speeds. Now, I know this is a ploy from Verizon. They're trying to get around reclassification via Section 2 or whatever the hell they're doing. Uh, it's something about how they're screwing with uh, internet speeds and somebody's using the download speeds are always less than the upload speeds as evidence against... I, I, I don't actually understand. Um, if you want more information on that, go find somebody who actually knows what the hell they're talking about. I don't know. All I know is now my upload speeds are 60 megabits per second, and my download is 50 meg meg megabits per second. And I was paying for 50 down and 30 up. So uh, that's actually pretty awesome. I'm going to assume that eventually the 60 is going to change. Um, it's going to drop as more and more people go, holy crap, we have better upload, we can actually do more shit. Um, so you know what? hopefully this actually kind of backfires in Verizon's face. Because one of the big things, one of the big arguments right now against from Verizon against Netflix is that the data that's transferring over the lines is disproportionate. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard about the whole Level 3 versus Verizon argument thing where basically Level 3 kind of pointed at Verizon and say, they're the problem and here's our proof. And Verizon kind of turned around and said, yeah, we're not upgrading our network, but that's all Level 3's fault. Which I don't understand, uh, but uh, anyways. So the argument that Verizon has is that the day that what they used to do, uh, what Verizon and Level Three used to do, they used to have pairing agreements. Basically, Verizon would connect to Level Three's network for free. There were no money trades hands because the same amount of data is going this way on the connection as this way on the connection. But because Netflix is get, sending information to Verizon through level three, it's all disproportionate now. Everything's coming into Verizon instead of, you know, going out. Um, so what I really hope that tells people is that more people on Verizon need to start pushing out content. We need more content creators, more content, all that fun stuff. Um, let's even out the Netflix, okay? Let's Let's... Make more stuff, more awesome stuff, because a lot of people do make some really awesome stuff. A lot of people make a lot more awesome stuff than me, but uh, I don't know. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, that's that's really the main reason I'm making this video is just to fuck with Verizon. That's me. I like screwing with people that are trying to screw with me. Mm. Speaking of trying to screw with me, uh, I got a visit from Xfinity the other day, uh, a couple days ago, door-to-door the, the -door salesman. Seriously, who does door-to-door -door sales anymore? I don't know, it's, it's especially weird coming from Comcast. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the news recently, but Comcast has been in the news a couple of times due to their absolutely stellarly shitacular customer support. Um, I mean, some guys stood on hold for, or, well, you know, yammered back and forth with one of the, the uh, w retention representatives, I think they called him. No, retention specialists, yes, because he wanted to cancel his service, and the retention specialist didn't want to let him. So he argued with the guy for like a half an hour to get it canceled. Uh, and then there was the other guy who was on hold for three hours, and Comcast closed in those three hours. So he 
Denver actually got his problem taken care of. Um, now, I'm more inclined to think that that latter part was a glitch because there are so many other ways to say screw you to the customer than to just put them on hold indefinitely. Yes, I know there's actually a term for that. It's called the Kevorkian hold. Basically, what they do is they put you on hold long enough until you disconnect yourself. But I don't think Comcast would do that because there's so many more less overt ways to say screw you. Uh, like, you know, spending a half an hour co trying to convince somebody to keep Comcast. Hmm. Anyways, so they came to my house, and uh, they were trying to convince me to get their Comcast connections. I'm like, I got Verizon, I'm happy. And they're like, oh, but yeah, but Verizon can't keep up with our speeds. I'm like, oh, really? What's your max speed? And they said, we can offer 150 megabit per second download. I'm like, oh, that's funny. Verizon right now offers me 150 megabit per second download, and their network is capable of 300 megabit per second. Not where I live, but elsewhere. They do offer it, and they might eventually offer it in my area. And uh, <laughs> The Comcast guys, to my face, said, You're lying. We don't need your business. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a piece of advice. Uh, all of you that are in the job market, all of you that are going to be in the job market... Here's a bit of advice. Never, ever, ever talk to a customer like that. Never call them a liar to their face, okay? Behind their back, uh, that's one thing. I mean, you still shouldn't do it because it's a whole mindset thing that you don't want to get into. But never call them a liar to their face and absolutely, 100%, never, ever tell them that you do not need their business. Because guess what? You do. Um, because customers pay your salary. Okay? As much as you might think, oh, yeah, well, one customer ain't going to make a difference. Comcast is kind of in the shitter right now anyways. Everybody's kind of pissed off at Comcast right now. And it's kind of reflecting, you know? Um seriously here i mean why would you go with comcast you have a choice where i live i know i know i know i know i'm one of the lucky few uh we actually have at last count six different isps to choose from six and i'm not talking verizon dsl and verizon fios no 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 no. i don't think verizon offers dsl anymore hell i don't think they offer fios anymore i think verizon's going away uh, I think they want to anyways, but no, 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 no. I mean, uh, where I live, there are two choices for cable, two different companies for cable, not TV, just internet. I'm just talking about internet right now. Two choices for cable, two choices for DSL that are not Verizon, and two choices for fiber. I We have six different ISPs to choose from. So in this area... You definitely don't want to tell your customers that you don't need their business because then your customers will do exactly what I'm doing and tell their story to the world. Yes, okay, I'm probably only going to get a grand spanking total of 20 views on this video, but that's 20 more people that know the story than did before. Plus, I'm telling pretty much everybody who, uh, you know, once it's relevant anyways, I'm pretty much telling anybody who will listen because it's a funny story. It is a funny story. And uh, yeah, just don't. Don't do that, okay? Don't treat your customers like that because, well, your bosses will fire your ass because your bosses will be smart enough to know that you're not supposed to do that, okay? Customer may not always be right, but the customer is number one. You never, ever shut a door like that on a sale. Never, okay? That's basic, basic marketing class. I took one marketing class and I know that. Ah, oh, but I... I digress. I ramble. I do. And I'm just looking at the picture on my screen. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually reloaded my PC recently, my gaming rig here. Reloaded it completely, and now I can record video and audio at the same time again. So I have no idea what the hell I broke before, but uh, I don't have to use my laptop to record video anymore, which is awesome. I was debating on upgrading to Windows 8, and then I remembered this microphone. And this microphone doesn't work with Windows 8. At least it doesn't work very well, and it definitely does not work for me. 
I can't get it to work anyways. Um, but I, I did reload my PC. I got that working. Uh, so now the, the video is actually over here. The audio is back here. Uh, and I can tell my colors are washed out. That poster there... Well, okay, it's not that much more colorful, but it is a little bit more colorful than that. Um, I really like that poster. That's a really nice poster. Uh, it's all, it's, well, at least four of the NASA spacesuits. I mean, the, from what it sound, what it looks like on the poster, it suggests that it's all of the NASA, different variations of the NASA spacesuit, but I somehow doubt they only ever had four. Um, I know it's complicated to design a spacesuit because there's all kinds of crap to worry about, but I somehow doubt they only had four. Um, let's see, what else we got? We got that poster there that I got from ThinkGeek. Uh, I quite liked it. Um, I want to show you those posters, but I don't want to move the camera because it will just kind of fuck with everything. I had a really nice Darth Vader poster. Uh, like, I don't know if that's like painted or just penciled or penned or something like that. It looks freaking amazing. Um, and it's on canvas too. It looks absolutely amazing. My mom got it from a sci-fi convention down in Altoona. Who knew there was a decent sci-fi convention down in Altoona? Hmm. Last sci-fi convention I went to was in Ebensburg and it wasn't a sci-fi convention. It was a horror convention. There were just vampires and, you know, zombies and a vampire Santa. It was very strange. It wasn't sci-fi at all. Um, okay, there was a Stargate outside, but it was absolutely the worst possible Stargate I have ever seen. Uh, looked like it was made out of cardboard and painted by somebody who never saw a Stargate. Maybe just heard a very rough description of what it was. It wasn't good. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so, um... What I am doing, uh, what I plan on doing, okay, so everybody remembers this guy. This is my Pebble watch. Uh, this is my smart watch, and I quite like this watch. I have mail, apparently, too. It actually tells me I have mail. This is my new toy. Uh, this is a uh, LG G watch. I'll be doing a full review of this here shortly. I wanted to give myself a full week of playing with this thing before I gave my final verdict. That way I can, you know, be detailed about it, be accurate about it. Um, so I'll be doing that. I'll probably be recording that tomorrow because, well, technically Monday would ma mark a week of having the thing. But I'll probably still record it tomorrow. I don't think I have any plans tomorrow, so we'll get that up sometime here soon. Um, I'll try to be as detailed as possible. I'll try to be as impartial as possible. But don't hold your breath. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's been up with me. I've been busy out my ass. Uh, reloaded my PC. Got visits from, well, a bunch of idiots. Now, I admit that those two people from Comcast were just some teenagers. Probably had a summer job. Um, but, honestly, I hope they got fired. Because they shouldn't have a job dealing with customers if they're going to act like that. Yes, I know, they're teenagers, they're biologically programmed to be stupid, but no, no, you don't act like that, you just don't. Uh, you don't act like that and expect to keep your job, you just don't. So, I'm going to end it up here on my random rambling, and I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.